if you don't know the, the sort of Nashville number system or building a major or a minor triad off of each one of the notes of the major scale, this might get a little bit tricky. Uh, this is also like a pretty, pretty interesting uh, concept that I always love to do. It opens up the guitar neck a little bit. Um, so hopefully the concept itself uh, really, really sinks in. If you have any questions, let me know. This video might move, uh, might move pretty quickly. Um, and like I said, it's, it's something that um, I'm used to teaching in a one-on-one -on -one setting. It's a little interesting trying to, to relay all of the information in a YouTube video when I can't see what you're understanding and what you're, you're perhaps not understanding. So uh, bear with me. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, my friends. So in the course, or if you're studying with me privately, um, I try to take the theory that we get into uh, and, and, and take the concept and move it into practical playing. So we're not just relying on, on conceptual theory and sort of what it looks like on paper. We can use it within our playing, okay? Uh, somebody that was taking the course, we're getting into the Nashville number system, which we do touch on pretty early in building chords off of each note of the major scale, right? So if I have a one, four, five progression, right? Or a six, two, three progression or, or, or whatever it is, that that happens, you know, we, we can sort of pull those chords out. We know which ones are major and which ones are minor. I'm gonna go over this right now. Uh, the, the, the rest of the lesson might be a little hard to grasp if this part is not easy, but let's just say I'm in my G major, right? My one chord major, my two chord, whole step away, minor, my three chord, whole step away, minor, my four chord, right? Major five chord, whole step away from four major. And then my six chord minor. And then of course I do have my half diminished. Oh, there it is. For my seven back to my one okay how we can take this and instead of just saying "Ooh, i'm gonna play a one to a four right if i'm playing rhythm guitar writing songs what have you or being able to look at what an, uh, another player is doing and figure out what mode that you're going to be playing in uh, i like to use this in a lead guitar uh, type of way um, which we, we do hear, you know, if I, if I play, right, there's some really cool harmonizing parts, right? And I want to get into how we can, we can conceptualize those chords in a little bit of a lead guitar way. Uh, this was a great one-on-one -on -one that I had with one of the students that was taking the course. If you take the course, there are one-on-ones with me. So now I'm going to take this information and whoop put it back into uh, the course because I think it's really great. Um, if I take, uh, this was the, the particular lick. We were in G, okay? And we, we do see this a good amount, right? You guys probably have seen this before, right? If I take where my middle finger is, that's my third, right? That's a third of my G chord. And there's my G right there in the bottom. So I have, right, this fourth fret of my G string and then this third fret of my E string Okay, and I consider this right uh, 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 um, the two notes of the triad of the one chord. Now, this is how we can think of moving that around quickly without having to go back and be like, oh wait, where am I? Oh wait, is this the third or the fourth? Okay, if we just follow the same rules, this is major, right, right out of that chord, and then this is minor. They're on the same fret, right? Just like I'm playing that minor. So we think, all right, this note's ahead for major, and then they're on the same fret for minor. So I can do the same thing I was doing before. One major, two minor, three minor, four major, but it's only a half step away. Whoop. Five major, whole step away. Six minor, and because there's no fifth in this chord, the seven, also minor. And then back to my one major. And why that becomes a little bit easier now is we can do. And the process uh, becomes a little bit, uh, a little bit faster to figure out where those harmonies are, right? Because we know how to move, whether it's a whole step or a half step between the three and the four or the seven and the one, just like if I were to do this. and then the seven obviously a little strange and then my one back to my one all the way up there right i'm just picking apart those two notes i know that when I'm, when i'm doing these sort of harmonies that's my third and that's my root all right pretty cool
cool. I like it, right? Now we can take that a few different places throughout the neck. I tend to use it uh, in, in this particular way. I'll tell you where. Uh, if I'm playing, let's say something in, let's say, I'll do G major. We'll just stick with G major, right? Maybe it has a little bit of a minor thing and I'm doing, doing something like, right, something fast. I'll, I'll do, you know, sort of like, right, and run up. And it's the same idea. Now, if I take this, that's my G major, right? And I could find my G, my B string. Now, this becomes my major third, right? If I take that G and I move it up, uh, a whole step to my A, that's my two, so that's gotta be minor. Just like the two's minor. So now I have like one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, right? And then this becomes sort of my one, but really it's like my six. Six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five. And I can pick it up if I'm doing something like that not necessarily right on um, <clears throat> where the one is. If I did, I could go. So I know, okay, there's like my five, five major, six minor, seven minor, because I'm not worried about the five, right? It's just, just the third. And then there's my one. Now, what's really great about that is we can do that in the different keys. And this is where we get uh, uh, into the modes part of the course. We do that with the different keys. Let's just say I'm in A natural minor. All right. Technically I know A, my natural minor will be my sixth mode. So there's my A minor, right, six. I'm following all the same rules. Six, seven, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two. But I know my one technically, right? If I kind of count that C as my one, that really it's based around this A minor, which is the six rather than the one, right? A, a, a hard theory concept. But I know if, if that doesn't make sense, it's gonna be a little bit difficult until you, until you can really grasp sort of like our modal settings, which we do, which we obviously we do in the course. Um, that, that would be for a longer video if that starts to get, ooh, I got everything when we were in the key of G. It's a little bit more difficult when we move to one of the other modes, you know? Like if I were to even do it in a mixolydian, right? Let's say I was doing like, sweet child of mine. D, C, G, D. D is now my mixolydian. It's technically my one chord. One, flat seven, four, one, right? But my one is sort of set on my five because it's my mixolydian mode based around D mixolydian. So I could go up, I could find my D. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, A little bit difficult I know in that sense um, some other really great ways to visualize the thirds at least um, is you know if you sort of take a little part of um, ooh, like whether it's um, uh, right uh, that ch the chili pepper song scar tissue or like the the first part of blackbird that root note third a little bit more of a jump Right? But I can do that, let's say I'm in C. Right? One, there's my third. So one, two, minor. Just be those two notes. Two minor, three minor, four major, five major. Right? Um, some other ways to visualize it. We can, we can even do it right here if I'm in C. Right? My root and third. major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven minor, because I'm not worried about the five, and then my root note. 
Um, if these concepts are making sense to you, if they're not, because I know that I'm, I'm, I'm jumping a, a little ahead, depending on where you are in your theory, um, then please go back uh, and it, just go ahead and send me a DM and I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to try to get relay some of this information where this video makes complete um, complete sense, uh, which I really would like it to, you know, I think that that would be great. Um, but that's, that is what we're seeing, you know, even, even if we do take, um, you know, that's exactly all it's doing is really laying out that bar chord. I don't know if that's the key. I just know that those are the notes that might not be the right starting, <laughs> starting place for that, for that particular song. Right. I don't, I don't know if it's in the key of F it might be in another key pretty, pretty close by, but, uh, if, you know the scar tissue if you look at the tab it'll tell you the right chords right so all he's doing is playing what would be like a one five six right and in, in f again whatever key the, the, the song actually is in it's just laying out root note and third right and that sounds kind of pretty it sounds kind of nice right same with here that's my root and my third of that five chord and then my root flat three of my six chord. So like, instead of just going, you know, that sounds kind of a little, right? Sounds kind of nice. Do, you know, that's the same concept in, in G. Takes that same thing we're in G and just moves it up to C when it goes to the C. Right, back to the G chord. Down here, it's those two notes for the D, right out of my D chord, right? Right, a great way of visualizing and harmonizing, and a lot of the harmonies that you're gonna deal with, if it's just, you know, two guitars or two instruments or two vocals uh, are, gonna be, are gonna be pretty much following each other in, in thirds, there's a couple rules even in the in the beginning that might be a little bit broken, but uh, but that is going to happen a lot, you know. And you're going to see it, you know, even even if it's in in like a blues, and it sort of has that, you know. However, the the, the blues for the bands, but it'll, it'll have a bunch of those. So. I hope that makes sense. And what I really like about that is we're not just using those uh, numbers and building triads off of each one of the um, notes of the major scale uh, and only doing it when we're coming up with chord progressions where we can use that. Uh, I use it a ton to get around my improvisation. You know, um, a, lot, a lot of that, like we were saying, if I'm in that, that A minor, it all over all over the guitar so i hope that will open up some creative doors i know that it was kind of a strange lesson but um i almost forgot another great place that this does show up um is if i take my e major right and i say all right i'm not going to play the low e e major I sort of have this E major, right? F sharp minor with my E and B, right? G sharp minor, almost like my three, my four chord, my A major, but I'm just playing those notes. Right? My five chord, my B major, just playing those. Right? My C sharp, my six chord minor right there. And then I could, if I really liked the sound of it, right? and then I could have my E major back up here. You know, um, so you'll hear that too. You know, so some other cool sounds we could, we could see how uh, this helps open up the guitar neck a little bit. If you have any questions, let me know.